Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is the book haul part two. I split it up because I realized it was gonna be a very long video. So I split them into two parts. Uh, and so I hope you guys are doing okay. And I hope you enjoy this book haul. And uh, I have been saving some books to show you for a while. So let's just jump right back into the book haul. So all of these are sent to me by publishers. Thank you so much to publishers. They send me books for an honest review and um, I show you the ones that I'm most excited about. Um, I may not know much about them, but I'm excited about them. And I think enthusiasm, that's a good place to start. Uh, the first up is the sequel to A Winter's Promise. And this is by Crystal Debos. And this is translated from French by, wait for it, uh, Hildegard Searle. And I am so excited for this. I don't think Europa has done a YA series before. Uh, so they're doing this one. And I think it's a quartet. It could be longer, I'm not sure. I've seen some of the covers in French and they use the same covers in the US editions. So they're just gorgeous. And Europe is doing an amazing job with this series. Um, I cannot wait to read it. And oh, just look how beautiful that is. Next up, I have a group of graphic novels to show you. Um, so first was a Canadian author's book that was sent to me, uh, Teresa Wong, and this is Dear Scarlet, the story of my postpartum depression. And this is a graphic novel about a woman's postpartum depression. And so I'm reading this for a theme later this year, um, but it comes highly recommended by Sachi. Sachi's very excited about this book as well, so. Speaking of my friend Sachi, she recommended this book, um, Sonpeku, which is the idea of if you see the white around someone's eyes, that it's bad luck. And this is by um, Kate Gavino. And also, I believe Jacqueline at Six Minutes for Me reviewed this book and really enjoyed it. So um, this is the illustrated style. So I was very thrilled to receive a copy of this one as well. Um, in the box they sent me, um, Boombox also sent me, I moved to Los Angeles to work in animation and this is a autobiographical like fiction graphic novel type thing um, and this is just inspired by her experience being a woman working in animation. I recently read a book about Millicent Patrick and she was a woman working in animation as well so I think that's fitting. I'm very interested to see what life is like in animation now versus when Millicent Patrick was working it in the early 20th century. Next one is Waves by Ingrid Chabert and uh, illustrated by Carol Morrill. And, and this is about a woman who loses a baby and the depression and lost feeling that comes from losing that baby. And I believe she also suffers from infertility. I could be wrong, but it's the story of that woman's journey with that. And I think this would pair well, very well with Dear Scarlet. There's a lot of stories in here about womanhood and motherhood and uh, mental health and what that looks like uh, around difficult times. Continuing that theme is about Betty's boob. And this is by Vera Kazet and Julie uh, Rochelieu. And this is a story about a woman who has breast cancer and has one of her breasts removed uh, for that and just her experience with that. It's really funny. Let's see if I can open it up on an illustration that is okay for the internet to see. Here we go. This is the style. There's a lot of discussion about her feelings about being a woman with breast cancer who had to have one of her breasts removed for medical reasons and just what that feels like. I haven't heard a lot of women really writing about this, but I've never seen it portrayed in a graphic novel. Uh, and so I'm just pretty excited that really they picked books for me that were definitely up my alley and about women's themes and women's health and just a lot of different things going on there. Uh, so that is about Betty's boob. You see what they're doing there, right? Yes, okay. Okay, so the last part of this haul are some other books that aren't graphic novels that were sent to me that I'm very excited about. Um, one of them is Feminism by Deborah Cameron, and this is a little primer of feminism. And so uh, the University of Chicago Press sent this to me um, because obviously it's up my alley. Um, and I've been flipping through it and I'm very excited to read it because it looks very accessible. I mean, it's just this little like introductory thing to feminism. So I will review this once I read it, but I think this might be a good one to give to people. Um, just, you know, feminism 101. Next up is How We Disappeared by Jing Jing Lee. And this is a book about Singapore in 1942 when the Japanese invaded. And I believe there's also another perspective that's set in the early 2000s maybe, and so the perspectives split back and forth. Um, this is by Hanover Square Press, and I saw this also in Hoopla on audio, so I'm looking forward to picking this one up. And I've never read a novel set during that time in Singapore. So yes, very much looking forward to this one. 
So typically I don't show you arcs that are like way ahead in the future just because I don't know much about them and I'm not sure if I'm going to read that book or not. But one I got in the mail and I know I'm going to read is Jamie Attenberg's new novel, All This Could Be Yours. And this is her latest novel. She wrote uh, All Grown Up, which also came out from Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. And I'm just so excited by this book. I saw uh, Liberty Hardy review this book already and she loved it. So of course, I'm just uh, so thrilled. As soon as I got it, I like took photos of it with Dylan. I was like posting it across the internet because I'm just so excited about it. One of my favorite covers this year is Rough Magic by Laura Pryor Palmer. And this book is about a woman who won the Mongolian horse race. And she was the first woman to do that. And I mean, one of the first women to ever participate, but she also won. So that is amazing. This cover is designed by Nicole de Caputo, I believe. And she is one of the founders of She Designs Books, which I will link down below. But that is an initiative to promote women book cover designers. And I also, we interviewed her for the podcast along with the, her other co-founder, um, Anne Toomey. So you'll definitely want to go check out that interview. We love book design, but I mean, just look at that. There's like textured. Oh, it's gorgeous. A book I'm kind of apprehensive to start is Karen Russell's Orange World and Other Stories. I've heard mixed reviews of this book and I've never read Karen Russell before and I don't know where to start with her. I believe she's from Florida or at least writes about Florida so I don't know too many authors that do that but uh, I just really want to read Karen Russell. I've heard so many great things about her. She wrote Vampires in the Lemon Grove and Swamplandia and a lot of different things. So I'm going to cross my fingers and read some of her short fiction. Wish me luck. <laughs> a book that Autumn has talked a lot about is The Affairs of the Falcones by Melissa Rivero. Lapita over on Bookstagram also highly recommended this book. And this is about a Peruvian family that moves to the United States to try to better their future. But they're really caught in a catch-22. You've heard the phrase, it's expensive to be poor, and that's really what they run into, trying to make their way in a new world. Uh, some people have compared it, like, Mbolo and Bue's Behold the Dreamers, just uh, from a Peruvian perspective. So I'm very interested to read this immigrant story. I mean, it's her debut novel as well, I believe. So yeah, Autumn has talked about it a lot. So over on the podcast, we interviewed Angie Kim, and she recommended this book, Disappearing Earth by Julia Phillips. This is out from Knopf. And this is about two girls that go missing on this peninsula in Russia and what happens with that. It's supposed to kind of turn these stereotypes of the missing girl up on their head. Uh, I've heard so many people talking about this book. It's one of the most buzz books uh, that I have read about recently. Uh, and I've seen a lot of like early press for this book and, and the reviews seem to be really good. I think this is also a debut novel. I could be wrong. Um, editing Kendra will confirm or deny and I just, ugh, look at that cover. I'm just, I mean, that's amazing. I'm just, I'm just very excited to read this book. And if Angie Kim recommended it, I feel like since she wrote Miracle Creek and, and knows kind of like mysterious, like plot twisty kind of books, then I should definitely check it out. So I saw this book being talked about by Eric um, or Lonesome Reader and Britta Bowler and so I uh, requested a copy after seeing them talk about it and this is All the Lives We Ever Lived but Seeking Solace in Virginia Woolf by Katherine Smythe. Now as you know Virginia Woolf is my literary patron saint and I adore her. So when I saw someone writing a memoir about To the Lighthouse and how it affected her life I was like yep sign me up just please. <laughs> so I've already read the introduction to this book and just uh, so excited to read it. Just look at that gorgeous little cover and it plays off the design of Virginia Woolf's original novels, like the original design for her novels. There we go. Oh, so excited. The last book I want to show you is the 2017 Stella Prize winner, uh, The Museum of Modern Love by Heather Rose. And this one, as I said in 2017, but it was just published by Algonquin Press in November of 2018. So we're a bit behind, um, but I'm very excited to read this. I, I get very frustrated when I see the Stella Prize winners and shortlisted books and they're not available in the United States. I do know a lot of the shortlisted slash longlisted books this year have already been picked up by US publishers and will come out next year. Uh, so stay tuned, you know, go follow Jacqueline's channel. She will talk about that I'm sure on her channel and we'll also be talking about it on the podcast at the beginning of June. So I'm so excited for Aussie books coming to the United States. I just feel like we're on like a delay, a year long delay. <laughs> anyway, that's this one. 
And that's it. That's all the books I wanted to show you. Thanks so much for watching. So I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, I will, uh, I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye.